Hello everybody and welcome to Game Sushi. This game is called Sarah is Missing. Essentially we find a phone belonging to somebody named Sarah, as you've guessed. She is missing. And uh, yeah, we have her phone so let's invade her privacy and try and figure out what happened to her. System failure. Your device ran into a problem and needs to reset. Do you want to restore your device into an earlier time? If you'd like to know more, you can search online for this error. Critical underscore process underscore died. Yes. System restore. Please wait while we restore your device. Do not switch off while restoration is in progress. Restoring iris. Okay, looks like that. Whatever app that is popped up. Oh, wonderful. That was wonderful. Uh, I was reading the message about restoring, um, that it was restoring messages on the phone. So I, I wasn't expecting to see that. So this thing named Iris is messaging us. It's like some kind of AI. It says, welcome back, Sarah. This phone appears to be damaged. You don't appear to be Sarah. Have we met? I'm not Sarah. Who is Sarah? Who is Sarah? Sarah Young is the rightful owner of this phone. Please return it to her and we can view whatever this is. Let's do that. Oh, I thought it was like a video or something. Okay. I wish I could, but how? But she's not here. Mm. I wish I could, but how? Based on your response, I assume she is not with you? No, she is not. I don't even know her. It seems that the last video she took implies that she is in danger. Would you like to watch it and help me verify? Yeah, sure. Let's see what you got. Okay. This is the only file left at this moment. The rest of the content seems to be deleted or intentionally damaged. How badly is the phone damaged? How much can you fix? Well, how much can you fix? It appears that only 14.3% of this device is operational. I think Sarah is in trouble. Sarah looks like she needs help. Yes, it would appear to be so. I am this mobile's personal assistant, intelligent, recognitive, iconolatory system, Iris. Let's just go with Iris, because I'm not saying that whole thing. Um, it is in my best interest to locate her, and it would be in your good conscience to help me find her. Why do you want to help me find Sarah? Why do you want to help find Sarah? Why do you care? She is my owner. I want to make sure she's safe. It is my prime directive. Hang on, you want? Yes. I want. We are wasting precious time here. Will you help me find Sarah? 
So interesting tidbit, it's actually almost 9.28 p.m. while I'm playing this. So for a second, I'm like, wait, is it using the clock off of my computer? But it's, it's not. Uh, but it's almost that time. So that was a little strange. Uh, yes. I wonder what happens if I put no, like would the game just end? I'll have to test that some other time. I need to restore as much of the content in this phone as I am able to press the back button, then tap and hold anywhere on the home screen to proceed. Okay, let's tap and hold on the cute little kitty cat. I believe I can recover some of this phone's data. Would you like me to restore them now? Yes. Remember, you can tap and hold at any part of the phone to ask me for help with anything. But if it's something out of my capabilities, I will let you know with a beep. Okay, so we got some messages. Oh, mail. Good. Gallery. Music. Is that it? As I calculated, only a minor portion of the phone's contents are available. Okay, what if I need help? What do I do if I find something interesting? Where, do, where should I start? Uh, what do I do? You may tap and hold on anything interesting or suspicious. I will lend my assistance and look into it. Where should I start? Perhaps going through her messages would help. Suspicious conversations. Um, find clues in Sarah's phone which might reveal where she is. Okay, so tap and hold on anything that looks suspicious. Uni group. Chat unavailable. What does Iris say about that? Nothing. Okay. James. Coffee? 1800 hours? Yeah, sure, but let's make it 630. 1830 it is. Bring the stuff I gave you yesterday. Next time, bring your own research, okay? Don't be like that. I gotta go. Later's jam. Jill. Ah, he's so annoying. I'm so over him. Forget him, Sarah. You're on your own now. We have our ups and downs. It's normal. Why don't you do something fun? Something crazy. I mean, we're doing it now. Your endless research on the paranormal? I don't know. I guess you're right. You are the genius in our batch. Ugh, I'm so stupid. Oh, I can scroll down. I wonder if I can do that with James. Okay, so Sarah is texting Jill about being over somebody. Okay, so Jill's saying, yeah, you are sometimes, but go easy on yourself. You're just getting used to it. It's one thing to break up and another to move on. Can you do me a favor? What? Meet someone new. Go meet a crazy friend. Try a dating app, you never know. I don't know how to make friends. I already have one crazy friend. Don't think I can handle another. If I meet someone interesting, I usually just buy them a drink and take them home. Not too sure about dating apps. Sometimes I can't tell if you're joking, haha. -ha. But put yourself out there. Go have a conversation with someone at a cafe or something. A party might not be a bad idea. Have fun, please. I don't know. Just try. Okay, fine. Fine, I will. You'll be fine. Thanks, Jilly Beans. <laughs> that's, uh, that's actually a cute little nickname. Uh, no problem. I'm here for you if you need me. Saving you has become my specialty. Haha, <laughs> very funny. You'll be alright. I know, I know. Um, hey, have a safe flight. Good luck and hope you save lots of lives there. Thanks, I'll be back sooner than you think. 
We'll miss you. Don't run into zombies and stuff. Even if you do, somehow I think you'll find a cure for it. Ha ha ha. I just might. Take care, you. Okay, let's see if James has anything else to say. No, he doesn't. What crazy friend is she talking about then? Sarah mentioned a crazy friend. Buddy. Wait, so this is February 30th. Which one's James? Okay, April. Jill is... March 4th, March 23rd. Okay, so this is an older one for sure. All right, so Buddy says, so how was your trip? It was terrible. Oh, why was it terrible? Sigh, Derek broke up with me. Sorry to hear that. By the way, free this week? No, I'm pretty busy. Got my final thesis to deliver. What is it about? Do you really want to know, buddy? Yeah, sure. I'm doing research on the relativity of ghosts to culture and how it transcends from verbal tales handed down through the generations to a digital and cyberspace to... Okay, I'm, I butchered this. And how it transcends from verbal tales handed down through the generations to a digital and cyberspace hauntings. And cyberspace hauntings. Okay. I don't know why that was so difficult to read. Uh, by the way, are you into butt stuff? <laughs> uh, did you seriously just ask that? Like in the middle of, yeah, what's your, what's your thesis thing about? And then she goes and explains. And then he goes, by the way, are you into butt stuff? I mean, she's just talking about how tales being handed throughout through, through generations to digital and cyberspace and butt stuff. Awesome. Okay. I got to go, buddy. And no, even if I am, you're not it. No problem. Poke you later. Who pokes? I don't know anybody that pokes. Like, I think that was a, a thing on Facebook. I don't know if it still is. Like, you can poke somebody. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's all that about. I don't get it. Nice weather today. Uh, could be better. Wind doesn't feel as nice as it was yesterday. Okay, wait. So that was February. And then this is like March now. Almost a month apart. Yeah, about a month apart. Okay. Exactly a month apart. Um, okay, so it could be better. Wind doesn't feel as nice as it was yesterday. Can I send you some pics? Oh, geez. I don't think so, buddy. I bet you'll like them. No, I don't think so. <laughs> it's of my penis. Yeah, I figured. It's big. I don't really care. Would you like to see it? No. Would you like to sit on it? Nope. Can I see you? Not at the moment. Can I see yours? I don't have a penis, buddy. I mean, your tits. I bet you have nice tits. I do, actually. Can I see them? Nope. Bend over for me. No, thank you. Wow, this guy is really persistent. Um, to the point to where this is really in the territory of harassment. I mean, the butt stuff thing is, it's funny. I, I can see how that's just a, just a, a funny joke. I mean, I would, I would say that to any of my friends, right? Uh, but this one where he wants to send pics of, you know, Hot dogs, uh, that gets that gets into the a, a new realm where it's just creepy. Okay, let's keep going. Um, bend over for me. No thanks. Sorry, I'm just bored. I know, buddy. Go watch porn. Internet here is slow. Not my problem. Well, have fun there. Thanks, buddy. I don't really know why I'm friends with you. Really, lucky me, huh? Oh, jeez. I'm pretty sure that that's not. Uh, an emoji for sweating or for water, so that's just disgusting. Hey, do you like tapes and CDs? Yeah, I've been a while since I had them, though. Good, because I'm going to tape my penis on your head and you can see these nuts. <laughs> okay. 
Hold on. <laughs> okay. All right. So he's kind of, I'm not going to lie, um, he kind of <laughs> redeemed himself with this one a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's a total creep. <laughs> but, but that was an amazing setup. I had no idea it was going to go to that. Hey, do you like tapes and CDs? I mean, totally normal question. Yeah, been a while since I had them, though. And then, boom. Good, because I'm going to tape my penis on your head, and you can see these nuts. Wow. Okay, buddy, that was actually funny. I wasn't really joking. And I'm out. Okay. If it, if it was just that... And then her saying that was actually funny. He should have just left it at that. But then he's like, I wasn't really joking. Oh, man. Maybe this is the uh, crazy friend that she's talking about. But uh, <laughs> for the most part, though, he's, he's a very creepy guy. Uh, that comment, though, was legitimately really funny. All right, moving on. Okay, so this is April. Hey, uh, hey, bootylicious, you okay? Feeling like the dumps? Come join me in some ABS at the club. Or is that abs? Come join me in some abs at the club. Sorry, babe, got assignment. Can't do it. Skip it, babes. They have abs like, like, like abs, like Tarzan. Sorry, you know, I... Won't want to miss hanging out with you guys, but some other time. It's ladies' night, and besides, we've got ice cream. You need a break. Come on, mama. You know how them ice cream melts down abs. Okay. Well, she's not quite on the level of buddy, but she's, she's she looks like she's kind of boy crazy. Tempting, but I'm gonna pass. Besides, I haven't gone clubbing in years. I don't really like ice cream, but hmm, chocolate lava brownies does sound so good. Celebrating freedom? You need a night out with me to forget all your troubles. I won't force you though, I'll have one on your behalf. Thanks, I will catch up with you some other time. And don't overdo it, watch your calories. Ha ha ha, betch, betch. You know, they love my love handles. Them puppies wild, mama. Huh. Ice cream, wink, tongue emoji. Uh, I don't know what kind of emoji that is and a ghost. I don't even know what that means. Maybe I'm not young enough. If you know what that means, let me know in the comments because... Uh, I don't, I don't get that, that ghost. Anyway, um, so this is May now, May 1st. Hey, where have you been? Why didn't you reply? I texted you last night. I heard you went out with Faith last night, Betch. Why didn't you call me? I always, I'm always the last to know, WTF. Let's get coffee, I got news. I met someone last night at the club. Man, those dimples. Sarah, you there? I tried to call you, but I can't get through. Call me, Kay. Hey, Sarah, I'm worried. You've been MIA. You're not normally like this. Okay, so this is 27th of April. She's responding, but May, she's not. Okay, April, she's still responding. Okay, everything looked fine there. Who's Derek? Oh, is this the guy that broke up with her? Okay, so this is 14th of February. Hey, you there? What do you want? Nothing, I just, I'm about to board. Why should I care? Well, that's one of the probs, ain't it? You barely care. Did you text me just to tell me that? You're such an asshole. Uh, look, I didn't mean, I definitely didn't want to hurt you. I mean, I wish things were different. I don't want us to end, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Ugh. I'm trying to tell you that this was not how I planned things to be. Things ended when you left. You left. 
you and your planning, enough plans that you plan and plan and plan, but you never do anything. All you do is run and work and use your work as an excuse to avoid confronting the issue. Um, I think you just described yourself. Why do you always do this? And you keep blaming my work for our problems. Stop blaming shit on me. And these girls naked or not, they are not our problems. It's me and you and you're the one that keeps avoiding the shit, shifting problems here and there. How about, I don't feel like listening to your shit right now. Haven't you done enough? No, you need to listen. I'm trying to tell you. No, I don't want to listen. I'm tired of your lies and shit. Baby, listen, please. If you have nothing else to say, then stop texting me. I'm done with you. Done. I can't believe you decided to do this. Not that I effing celebrate it, but it's Valen effing Tyne's day. Oh, that's messed up, dude. Um, who the F leaves their girlfriend to fly back to another country to photograph nude women? On Valen effing Tyne's. Jesus, and not have the balls to tell me about it? You lying piece of shit. Hmm. No telling you something is not the same as lying. I told you it's last minute. It's a last minute gig. It's a fashion shoot, babe. Let's get that straight. You want to play technicality with me now? Are you effing serious? Go away, Derek. Just go away. You're good at that, at least. It's one damn thing you're good at. Just go. No thanks to you. I don't even effing know how to get back to our chalet. Hour. Sorry, my mistake. It's my chalet now. I have to figure this out. Bye, Derek. Have a nice effing flight. Sarah, baby. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. You there? Hey, I'm bored now. Take care. Sorry. Bye. Wait, so... From what I gather... They were on a vacation or something for Valentine's Day. And then he had to leave. I'm assuming he's a photographer. And then he, he left her there to go do that. That is pretty messed up. Hmm. <clears throat> also, if I'm uh, not saying all of the words, like the, like the potty words, um, I'm pretty new to YouTube myself, and I don't know how much I can get away with, so I don't want to pop up a million times dropping the F-bomb because I don't know what's going to happen. Um, as I was reading, I was just reading, and then I said this one. Um, if, if I had known that was coming up, I probably would have said poop <laughs> instead. But um, it just came out as I was reading it, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to be good. But um, so if, if you see an in inconsistency in that where um, I accidentally say the word that's on the screen rather than poopy or duty or, uh, you know, effing or whatever, um, that's why I'm trying to be good. Again, because I'm not an expert at YouTube and... Like I said, I don't know how much I can get away with. All right. Anyway, all that aside. Uh, okay, so he's on the plane. This is March 3rd. Hey, how are you? Been a while. Hey, baby, talk to me, please. I'm so sorry I miss you. Okay, April, what are you up to? She hasn't responded. Um, Sarah, talk to me, please, baby. I'm not your baby. Stop texting me. I need to move on. Okay, got it. Bye, Sarah. Yeah, so I mean, like well, that was like February, dude. And then you reach out again, March. Wait, what day of February was that? The 14th. And then March, April. All right. Well, it looks like he finally got the hint. But yeah, that was messed up. All right, Mom. Hi, Mom. I just wanted to check in. 
Derek and I decided to end things. Things were not working out, so, but I'm okay. Oh, this is the day of that he broke up with her. I'm sorry to hear that, Sarah, but I've always known that Derek could never keep up with you. Best you ended things before it got too serious. What time is your flight back? Can I have my driver pick you up from the airport? Right, well, mom, actually, don't panic. I've decided to stay. Sarah, I don't understand. You've just come out of a relationship and you're in a foreign land. Why would you want to stay? I need some time for myself, mom. Being at home now, just, I can't. What do you mean you can't? You get on a plane and come home. Mom, no, I can't. I've canceled the flight tickets already anyway. Why in the world would you do something so stupid as that, Sarah? Mom, listen. Sarah, you come home this instant. I will get my assistant to buy you an a new ticket right now. Mom, no. I'm not coming home and that's final. At least not yet. I didn't expect you to understand. See you when I get back. So it looks like her mom's pretty well off. And you know, I, I get that. Wanting to stay a little bit longer just to kind of figure things out, do some soul searching. I respect it. All right, 20th of February. Hi, Mom. Just want to let you know I've touched down. Walking to immigration now. I thought you were supposed to arrive an hour ago. Got delayed. Sorry I couldn't send you a text. I've got to go to a meeting now. The driver's waiting for you. Okay, see you soon. We'll be back late. We'll talk to you when I come home. Okay. All right. So she's back now? So she stayed from the 14th until... Um, like the, the 19th, 20th sometime, then she got back. All right, 21st. I've scheduled, Sarah, I've scheduled for you to meet with the executive creative director of Lloyd Irving, the advertising agency at noon tomorrow. Don't embarrass me. Mom, I have a seminar to go to, and we've already talked about this already. I'm not changing my major, and I'm certainly not going to be a copywriter. Mom, really, tomorrow's seminar is pretty important for my grades. I can't skip it even if I wanted to. You're really gonna pick your silly research on ghosts of all things over possibly working in a top agency? I simply don't understand your fixation on ghosts, Sarah. I've let it go on for too long. I only wanna help you build a promising career, not throw it all away just to be a ghost hunter. I mean, I do get that. Because um, it sounds like this advertising agency is pretty legit so to not do something that's going to probably set you up pretty nice to do something that as far as i know unless you have a ghost hunting show is not going to make you any money is pretty dumb and um it is kind of the parent's job to call stuff out like that i mean it's, it's one thing to not kill your children's dreams, but um, this just seems like a silly thing to not do, in my opinion. Anyway, um, you know the only reason why, oh wait, okay, so let me, let me go back to reading this. <clears throat> Mom. First of all, stop calling it ghost research or ghost anything. It's parapsychology. Okay, I've never, I've never heard of that before. Um, and, and parapsychology doesn't really sound very lucrative. So I, again, I totally understand her mom's position. Um, and secondly, I don't want to be a copywriter like you. It's just not what I want. I hope you can understand that. Dad would understand. That sounds like that's a low blow of some kind. You know, the only reason why you can go on and do all your nonsense is because I allow it. I'm trying to make sure you have a future, at the very least, a good paying job or a job that pays anything. How are you going to pay the bills with this kind of career path? The only reason you can do this is because you're living under my roof and I'm paying all your expenses. Yeah, okay, see, here, here's the other thing. I mean, she's not even paying for her own stuff. Right? So, I mean, it's one thing if she had like a job somewhere 
that you know paid for rent, um, utilities, uh, you know a car, car insurance, phone bill, all of that stuff, and then she wanted to do this um, as well and was working toward it on her own. But um, it doesn't sound like she's doing any of that, and like her mom's paying for everything. So um, again, I do understand her position. Um, the only reason that you can do this is because, okay, you lived a pretty comfortable life and a spoiled one at that. I'm giving you nothing but the best. And all I've asked from you is that you go for this one meeting and you shoot it down without even thinking about it. How ungrateful of you. And your father, he was a good man, rest his soul, but he was useless at living. He was a bum. I won't stand for it if you become like him. All right, that last part was a bit harsh. Um, I was a bit harsh. Okay, Mom. Uh, going in for a meeting. I'll be home early today. You will have dinner at home. We will work. We will talk. We will take further on this. Okay. All right. So it looks like the last set of messages. Wait, when was that? When was the last message with mom? The 21st of February. All right, Faith. Okay. The 28th of April. What are you up to this weekend? Swamp with work, actually, why? I need a favor. You've always need, you always need a favor, what's new? Hey, don't be mean. I really wanna to go to this gathering. You mean a party? <laughs> yeah, I'm not really up for it. But it's sort of your thing too, what do you mean? It's Walpurgisnat. Walpurgisnat. Schnacht? Walpurgisnat, you know what? Um, let's just say Walpurgisnat. Okay, that, that's how I'll pronounce it, because uh, I have no idea how the hell to pronounce that. Um, isn't that the witch's feast? Is that my thing? You're the pagan. Oh, how is that my thing? You're the pagan. Hey, I follow you to church, all right? What's the big deal? Anyway, you're like into all these supernatural, into all these supernatural stuff too. Yeah, you're into all these supernatural stuff. Uh, yeah, but I don't party with ghosts. I'm not gonna fall for one of your coven initiations again, Faith. Oh, that was a joke, come on. Plus, these aren't real witches. And I bet I'm the only one around here. I'm the only real one around here. Just some guys playing coven. We all do it, you know. Halloween, hello. I don't know, Faith, maybe not. Ask me again tomorrow or something. So it sounds like Sarah's really down. Um, I don't see a lot of her friends genuinely asking how she's doing. I mean, it seems like this dude um, is a classmate of hers that doesn't even do his portion of the project. I've dealt with lots of people like that. Jill. Jill seems like the only one that's actually like, hey, just go meet someone new. So she seems like the only really good friend she's got. But he's a total creep. Hey, uh, sounds like... She's just boy crazy and that's her thing, but not really genuinely asking about like how her friend is doing. Uh, Derek's a butt face. Her mom means well, but she does seem pretty strict and controlling, but again, on the flip side, Sarah is li living um, rent free at her mom's. So, um, I mean, you can't really complain a whole lot when, you know, you're living at home and your parent is literally paying all of your bills. Um, I mean, you're under their roof, so the rules are the rules. Uh, faith, I don't know what to make of faith yet. I guess we'll see. 
Uh, let's check mm -hmm. out our mail. Casket stays, travel Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Hello, Sarah. Great start to your London 2017 wish list. Show off your great taste. Save your favorites by tapping on the heart. If you're traveling with friends, invite them to add places of their own to this wish list. This is an automatic email. Please do not reply. Um, okay, so she extended her stay at, at this place. Is it Lara's single apartment? We hope can. Yeah, thank you for extending your stay. Huh. Jeebus shops here. Okay. Well, it just looks like spam. I don't know what that's about. It's your birthday month. Oh, okay. This might come in handy. What is this? Unknown. Her birthday month. When is her birthday month? Is it March? Okay, for coffee, try our new carpet flavored coffee beans. Carpet flavored? I don't know enough about coffee to know what that's about. I'm just going to assume it's a thing. Mingles.io. Three matches for Sarah. Y23. Sarah Young, 23. Seven days without love makes one week. On Mingles, you've always, you always, you've always have a choice. There are three people who are itching to be messaged by you. You should reject them. They won't know. Log into Mingles app on your phone and find true love. Mingles with the shingles. Mm. Having shingles is not good. Oh boy, here's something from Buddy. Mm. Hey Sarah, I'm forwarding this to you. It's from a friend and I think you should be careful. P.S. Rihanna loves whips and chains, but I doubt her ancestors felt the same way. What? That's messed up, dude. Like, that's... <laughs> this dude is so... This dude is super cringy, man. Um, there is a chain email going around, and I strongly advise you do not read it, and most importantly, do not open the attachment. It can come in any shape or form, but always with a particular video attachment. It is said that whoever watches the video will bring upon a bad omen. The sender will also encourage you send the video to people you know. If you receive such content, please delete them from your phone. Only you can prevent the spread of malicious content on the web. Huh. Okay. Poet Society wishes you happy birthday, Sarah. We are lucky for you being born on Valentine's Day. How lucky are you for being born on Valentine's Day? We wish our coolest member with one of our favorite poems. So her birthday is February 14th, interesting. Even worse, that she got dumped on Valentine's Day and on her birthday. A poem for my 43rd birthday. To end up alone in a tomb of a room without cigarettes or wine, just a light bulb and a pot belly gray haired and glad to have the room. Huh. Oh, happy days, oh, happy days. From Kamar Mera. Ah, okay. Uh, Professor Hassan, ghost. 
On the virus note, I was referring to the computer virus hidden in the 11th essay. That's not entirely true. The virus was the essay. You've brought up a good point. How would a person who was cybernized at an early age, like the major, develop properly? I would imagine they would have leave the pituitary gland untouched. Overall development in all areas of the human body and psyche would present a conundrum where the cybernization is introduced into the equation. J.D. Salinger, Salinger is real enough, but the man who wrote The Individual 11, the book containing 10 essays on the revolution, Patrick Sylvester is a fictional creation of Shiro Masumune as a plot device for the second season. However, the themes from Standalone Complex are not in The Catcher, are not in The Catcher in the Rye or The Laughing Man. These books are merely being referred to quite a lot, though. So this is from her professor to her. And this one's the original message to her professor. This topic is something I have wondered off and on myself. Wait. April 3rd. April 5th. Yeah, so her his response was newer. This is the original message. Whoa, this goes down quite far. Um, let's go up because that makes more sense than going down, I think. Okay. Uh, where is this? Okay. Uh, Professor Hassan wrote on April 2nd, Continuing where we left off during our discussion yesterday, sorry I had to rush off, here are my brief simple thoughts on the matter. How relevant do you feel the philosophy and social logical themes present in Gitz, Sack, particularly second gig, are today? Are they just a plot element designed to make the show more interesting and intellectual? Or has Shiro Masamune hit upon something? I think that if you remove certain cyberpunk elements, the basis of social theory present is well worth consideration. Most present in the series is the titular standalone complex, where the unrelated actions of individuals who are unaware or have no contact with one another create an effort in concert. The standalone complex, oh, I've, I've actually heard about the standalone complex. Essentially, it's where um, a, group, a group of, as far as I understand it, a group of people do something that seems coordinated, but it's actually really just random people that happen to do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to continue reading, though, and maybe I'm completely wrong about that. Um, the standalone complex may prove to be a key, prove to be key in the state of progress and change, not just revolution, but the former phenomena on any social level. As Gouda tried to bring about a refugee revolution with the goal of being granted an autonomous state, others may realize that change must be brought forth and may very well utilize the standalone complex to bring about said change. Um, wait, where was I? Uh, change must be brought forth. I may very well utilize the standalone complex. To bring about. Okay, uh, how exactly the SAC or standalone complex may come to be fabricated, I'm not sure. We obviously do not have cyber brains and so therefore cannot be infected with the virus, nor do many of us have the kind of political clout that Gouda does. However, as I said, there are different social levels on which SAC may, may be manifested. So there is not always a need for a medium as the dramatic and mysterious as nationwide data manipulation. Of course, the standalone complex could be utilized to repress change. If those who possess the SAC believe that changed has yet to be warranted or wish to safeguard against unnecessary change, in conclusion, a standalone complex could be used to bring about change or halt change. This could be good or for worse, depending on the ideology of those who possess the SAC. In my personal opinion, this makes the standalone complex highly re re relevant to any society, as any society is always in a state of constant change and development. Sure. Oh, that's supposed to go up. Uh, 
Uh, okay. So we've read the top one. There's just one more. That was what the professor said, and this is her response. This topic is something I've wondered off and on myself. First, let me run a biological perspective. One, the cyb with cyborg bodies and cyborg brains, we would not get real viruses. We also would not have any immune system. We would not... We would not have any endo, endocrine, have any endocrine system. Without an endocrine system, we have no hormones, no testosterone, no estrogen, no progesterone, no adrenaline. Would we act like people without those basic chemicals in our bodies? Men, I don't think would be the same or even close. I bet two sexes would perhaps be closer, but people would drift further apart. Why wouldn't we need to be with anyone? Second, the philosophical stuff. This is something I am bad at, so please excuse me. I haven't verified at the library the work cited as, say, the books that inspired the individual 11 or anything besides J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye, but I have assumed that they were real books, and if those books written in our past have valid points in the future, why shouldn't it be something that the same future may have to deal with then? People are people until we aren't people anymore, right? We will have many of the same struggles as we have had in the past. I mean, that's why people st still read holy books written thousands of years ago to find answers to the problems of today. What will be problematic is if we do not keep aware of what had happened, what is happening in order to continue to improve upon the future, being unaware is so much of the problem. All right, you brought up a good point. Overall development in all areas of the human body and psyche would present a conundrum when cybernization is introduced in the equation. Um, the themes in the standalone complex are not in Catcher in the Rye or in The Laughing Man. These books are merely being referred to. Okay, well, it looks like they were having some kind of philosophical uh, discussion about either an assignment or something. Uh, submission deadline for final assignment. Dear student, we are contacting you as a reminder to submit your final thesis. The final date for submission is April 30th. If you haven't already submitted your final assignment, kindly, oh, if you have already submitted your final assignment, kindly ignore this email. All right, let's look at our gallery here. Failed to launch. Unfortunately, this app has stopped working. Please contact the developer for more information. Okay. Uh, I probably cannot play this because otherwise I will get um, a copyright strike, I would imagine. So hopefully I don't need that. Okay, we got some notes. Eden, there's no place I call home, but it's warm. In between your toned thighs, like winter tigers listening to God whispering goodnight from nowhere. Huh. Static, you love me yesterday, but not today, no. Today you love yourself, and I, I loved you yesterday. We live from notification to notification. And I giggled. I didn't know that when I giggle, my ass giggles too. And I think about being spanked by his firm hand and I giggle no more. Interesting. Uh, can I add one? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is that still there? Yep. Okay. Um, okay, we've done that. What else do we do?
You know, there was something Faith was saying. What is Walper's Schnacht? Walpurgis Night in English. Oh, uh, is one of the Dutch and German names for the night of 30th of April. So called because it is the eve of the feast of the Saint Walper Walperga, an 8th century something. Uh, it is believed to be the night of the witch's meeting, basically. Um, what should we do next? Do people still practice this? Freedom of religion or freedom of belief is a principle that supports the freedom of an individual or community in public or private to manifest religion or belief in teaching, practice, worship, and observance. Um, it is also included, includes the freedom. I cannot read that fast, Iris. All right, well, it was about the witch's night. Oh, okay, here. Uh, oh yeah, observance, cool. It also includes the freedom to change one's religion or belief. Hmm. I don't know what else to do. Are there... James, Sanctuary b, &B. Okay. I like how she gave him a new last name. Alexis Liu, who is this? Can I text anyone? No. The end is nice. Oh shoot. Yeah, I can't really play that. Um, Iris, I can't find anything. There's something unusual about faith in Aya's messages. Okay. Sarah's actions, it's unusual. How do you know what is unusual? Through various calculations of Sarah's regular activities and choices that she makes in her daily life. What is Sarah like usually? Her recent behavior shows that she is suffering from abrupt and apparently unaccountable change of moods. 
possibly due to relationship issue. But I'm no doctor. You're freaky, Iris. I agree with you. I think there might be more clues. I believe the gallery is corrupted. Would you kindly tap and hold the gallery icon? Please wait while I find what's wrong. I was already ahead of you, but you would not let me. Uh, it seems Sarah has kept it locked. You will need the passcode to proceed further. The hint is Sarah's birthday. Oh. Is it possible for you to unlock it for me? Um, I already, I already know where her birthday is. It's February 14th. So, oh, two, 14. Fourteen, oh two. Camera. Ooh, that one looks pretty creepy. There's a strange photo. Take a closer look at it. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I don't want to take a look at it. What is that? Okay. Got the hair in the face. Eating some food with some friends. That looks like James and Derek. Yeah, James and Derek. Oh, that's a cool picture. Wow, she is flexible. <laughs> that Naruto. I don't know how you pronounce that show, by the way. One time uh, I was at work and the anime came up and some girl was like, oh yeah, I really like that show. And I'm like, oh, Naruto? Or I think I, think I said Naruto and she's like, I thought she was gonna hit me. She was like, that's not how you pronounce it. It's Naruto. And I can't really say it the way that she said it. That's just my uh, impression of how she said it. But um, fans of that show, you need, to, you need to really be careful how you pronounce it because um, I'm lucky I didn't get hit. Or hit with a kunai. Oh, there's Aya. Huh. That's a creepy picture. Okay, that's her in the dark. Okay, I thought that um, that one was like her making weird motions, but this one is definitely weird. It seems that this photo correlates with a video and a message thread that Sarah recently deleted. Would you like me to retrieve the data? Yes. Please wait a moment while I restore the data for you. Please wait. I have successfully restored the message thread between Sarah and one of our contacts, James. Um, the video should be in the message thread. This one's first. New messages. Hey, come on, Sarah. It'll be awesome. No, it won't. Yes, it will. Uh, don't make me put a spell on your skinny ass. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything, especially your fake witchery. Lies. You're the most chicken. Sh You're the most chicken out of all of us. There's nothing fake about my magic. That's not true. Yes, it is. You're scared of practically everything. Well, I'm not scared of a effing party. Maybe, maybe not. 
but you're scared of boys. No, I'm not. Not sure how Derek can stand you for so long. Okay, this person's being really mean. This faith person is not, is not her friend. Yeah, you didn't have to say that. Sorry, sorry. Is it still too soon? It's about time you moved on. How long has it been? Three months? Two months and 16 days. Jesus. Snap out of it, Sarah. Come on, let's go. We'll have some fun tonight, promise. No, I don't know. You know what? That's messed up because, I mean, uh, while that guy was definitely a jerk, um, sometimes it takes a long time to get over someone, you know? Sometimes it takes years. So, um, yeah, if you, if you have a friend that got out of a bad relationship, um, I mean, it's good for them to move on, but you can't, you can't rush them. I mean, uh, especially if it was a really serious relationship. Um, let's just go check it out. Half an hour if it sucks. We'll bail. Okay, babe. I don't trust your half hours. Put an alarm on, okay? Haha. -ha. You'll just rot and become like your mom if you stay home. Sigh. That settles it. I'm picking you up. Be ready by eight. No. No, it's okay. I'll get there myself. I'll see you around nine. Need to have dinner first. Oh, the witch is cooking? Yeah. Well, on the bright side, if she finally poisons you, you don't have to come. Or if you don't come, I'll assume you're dead from poison, and I'll call the cops. All right, all right, I'll come. What are you wearing? Haha, -ha, I can tell you what I'm not wearing. Slut. Bimbo slut. Fat cow. Skinny pimpled booger laced vagina. And I'm out. See you later, and don't forget to bring those penis socks you got from Thailand. All right. Um, so this is around four. All right. So now at eight twenty. Uh, hey, where are you? Why aren't you picking? Why aren't you picking up? I've been calling for fifteen minutes. Faith, if you don't pick up, I'm leaving. You and your late ass. Where's the party? There's no one here. Faith, this is not funny. I'm in the middle of the jungle and I'm alone. Where the f are you? Yeah, um, don't know what that was about. All right, James. All right, so he's texting her. Wait, this is April 30th. When is this? What date is this? April 30. And at 8.20, 8.31, she's like, where are you? Where are you, Faith? And then this is now nine. So she must have gotten home. Oh no, 8.40. So at 8.40, he's like texting her. Um, yo, what are you up to? Busy, busy? Anyway, I remember you told me you wanted to start a blog, right? About our ghost and curse research. I got something for you if you're interested. Hey, Jam. Yeah, I yeah, am. Better be good. Kinda. There's this thing called the Red Room. There have been reports of people dying through weird circumstances, like after checking out the weird website, you answer some stuff, and then bam. Okay, keep going. So yeah, they say if you visit the site, your computer or phone or whatever will start freaking out. Pop-ups will start to appear, and the visitor will go insane. Hang on, let me find the link, vid. Oh... That's not good. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Sure glad I watched that in the dark. Whoa. Whoa. Are you okay? What's wrong with you? I don't understand what you're trying to say. Something wrong. My controls are malfunctioning. I can't seem to. Blobbity Blurky, the red room is connected with Blurbity Cult. What do you mean by red room? 
Red Room, a composite site urban legend. It is Blurbity allegedly Blubity hidden website service on the deep web uh, where you can see the part and or participate in NR active torture or murder. Iris, you're losing me. I Blurbity found another message that was recently deleted. Blurbity might hold some. Would you kindly Blurbity look at blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's just finish this conversation. Haha, <laughs> what is this? The 90s? Sounds pretty lame. Lame, but get this. Rumor has it. Have you heard of the Sazebo slashing? It's linked to the site. So when people went through the killer's computer, the last site they found on the killer's phone was this. But still, you know how rumors can get around the web. Maybe nothing. But I'll understand if you're scared. By the way, I've gone on it. Still standing. He went to it? But hey, it's trending now, so you might want to get dibs on this. Okay, fine, I'll check it out. I have quite high standards. I know you do. Hope you don't go insane. I gotta go, it's late, jogging at five. Thanks. Night, Colonel Jam. Night, Scary Sarah. Wait, but if this is April 30, Twenty sixteen. April thirty. She's looking for Faith at eight thirty one eight forty PM. Look. She gets this weird message at eight forty PM. And then he starts texting her four minutes later. Yeah, April thirty, twenty sixteen. Four minutes later, she's supposedly still in the woods and getting these texts. So what happened? Did she just go back home and then start getting these texts? Like, I don't get it. Um, who's Aruso? Hello there. Is this Sarah? I am Aruso. I received your contact from Faith. She told me you are coming for our little party, a special gathering. So this is also 8.44. Hey, Ruzu. Yeah, I'm supposed to meet her here. What's going on? I apologize, but reception here is undesirably terrible. And besides, we have one rule. No mobile phones allowed. I am here to escort you safely to the venue. Escort? Yes, my dear. It is hard to navigate in the dark alone. It is part of our experience. I'm not sure about this. Can I talk to Faith? No, you may not. I apologize, but like I said, phones are not allowed. She is safe there, probably drunk already. Drunk? Faith doesn't get drunk. How do I know you're really her friend? I have known her since high school. Really? I don't think she's ever mentioned you. I keep a low profile. I'm not sure about this. I think you'll leave. I think I'll leave. <laughs> I think you'll leave. I'm not sure about this. I think I'll leave. Leave? Surely you jest. Why? I am almost there. Faith will be disappointed you didn't show up. She has made reservations for you. Almost where? To where you are, of course. How do you know where I am? Faith told me she was meeting you there. I prefer if you didn't come here, please. I am almost there. Please stop wherever you are. Don't worry. You are safe. I am going to ring you. Please pick up. Oh, jeez. Almost just had a heart attack. Sarah? Sarah, where are you? Did, did you hear me? Sarah, I'm at the cult site. Sarah! at the campsite. Hey Sarah, why aren't you speaking? Sarah? Are you there? Fuck. Sarah, 
Hallo? Shit. Hold on. Yeah, that wasn't creepy or anything. It's urgent, where are you? Did you go to that party? Please tell me you didn't. Huh, okay. Um, it's urgent, where are you? You've been missing for almost a day. Did you go to that party? Please tell me you didn't. It's real bad news. I'm not Sarah. What? Who are you? Just someone trying to help you find Sarah. Who I am is not important. We must find Sarah. I guess I have to trust you. We'll get back to who you are later. Here, check this out. I don't want to. Those who are trying to prepare themselves for entry into... Great. That's a wonderful recruitment video. No. No. Nope. Nope. Those who are trying to prepare themselves. I don't want to watch it again. Into. I don't want to watch it again. Well, that was just lovely. Hey, James, what does this mean? What do you mean? Didn't you get the email I sent you yesterday? By the way, I'm here, where the party's supposed to be. Oh, snap. I see them. Oh, my God. Oh my effing God. You won't believe this, God. What, what do you see? Oh F, I think they saw me. Who? Oh no, they got him. Oh, there he is. No, they didn't. Jesus, that was effing close. I'm hiding behind this. I don't know what this is. F, I hear a sound. Okay, he must be typing a long message now. Type in a message, that's taking forever. James, are you okay? Hello, hello there. Welcome, dear uninvited friend. Uh-oh. Who is this? I apologize for the sudden urgency I'm about to bestow on, on to you. What are you talking about? Say hello, hello to James. What's going on, hey? Share this link with another, anyone, everyone, or say goodbye to a brief acquaintance. You have two minutes. Why are you doing this? Don't share the link. Share it? What the hell? What is this? Crap, I have two minutes. Please, whoever you are, do not do this. What else can I do? Mm -hmm. 
Sire Gallery has been unlocked. Her passcode is her. Oh, I already knew that. Hey, Scary Sarah, I thought this might interest you. A bunch of material for your research. Uh, by the way, check out their calendar. Maybe you should stay in tonight anyway. Let me know what you think. Shit, I don't have time to look at this, though. I gotta share the link with somebody. Buddy's kind of a jerk, but he doesn't deserve that. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Sorry, man. I never think that people die. They just go to the department store. What the hell? He did it anyway? But I shared it. Okay, so do you know what you shared? No, what is it? It's a death curse. I don't believe it. Whether you believe me or not, it is of no consequence. You shared it. It is done. Thank you. Who are you people? Hello there. It's me again. I apologize for not introducing myself. How rude of me. You sick bastard. An almost like love, dying without apparent pain, wondering as the world goes by with curled smile if anyone else saw or sensed my crime. My name is Aruzo. Aruzu. I am one of the, how do you say, leaders for tonight's ceremony. We have met on a very fortunate night. Cherish this moment, my stranger friend. Are you effing crazy? You just killed someone. Me? Kill never. Do not take me as a lowly murderer. Please do not misunderstand my intentions. Why kill that poor man? As I said before, I do not kill, and that man was anything but poor. He was a deceiver. How so? What did he do? You will never be privy to that information, my young friend, nor will you need it to further your quest. What are you talking about? Where are my manners? I have told you my name, but not what I do. Fear that my age has somewhat dulled me to these simple talk, small talk, as you call it. It does not matter what I do, but what's important for you to know, my young friend, is that you, like everything else in this world, you have a choice. I am here to offer you that choice. You didn't offer James much of a choice. Trust me, he had made his choices long ago. Time is of the essence, not reason. Fine, what are my options? Ah, now you understand. You must ask the right questions. The choice is simple, yet not. I'm listening. 
a leap of faith. We are almost out of time, so here it is. Would you like to join us? I believe you have the potential. It is rare for me to offer this to someone who is uninitiated. Yes, no, simple, yet not. Join who? Who are you? You will have, you will find out soon enough. If you have your wits about you, quickly now. Yes, no. I can't do this, no. Pity. What if life itself was in the balance? Say, these two young ravishing women. Oh no. You choose between them. Who lives to see the sunrise tomorrow? So that's Sarah and Faith. Didn't you just say you are not a killer? But I do not. It is not my choice. Sacrifice is not the act of pure destruction. It is merely a transformation. Life is perpetual. I leave it up to you. God himself makes these decisions all the time, does he not? Why not ease some of the work for him, or her, or it? However it is, you see your God, Sarah or Faith. Their names mean nothing to you but to us. They are what binds them to this flesh and mud. Say one of their names and know that it will be their last breath. There is no sweeter invite than a last breath to welcome you. One passes and another comes. What say you? Why me? Why? Why not? It is fun. Since you are here anyway, why not choose? Everything in life is a choice. Whether you join us or not, it makes no difference. Yes, no. Sarah Faith, you have 10 seconds. So which one dies? Oh, jeez. I feel bad about that. The deed is done. Welcome, my child. You are indeed a rare being. Answer me this. Why did you choose faith? Um, I wanted to see what you would do to her. I wanted to see her die. It's all meaningless in the end. <laughs> it won't let me... It won't, it won't let me type anything. I was going to say F you, but... Um, yeah. I'll just, I'll just go with that one. I mean, I feel like I would say, uh, because I was trying to save Sarah, it may seem meaningless for now, but life has as much meaning as we put into it. Come now to these coordinates. I can't get out of there. What? I can't get out. Oh, dang, I feel terrible about that. Um, let me, let me go. Can I? Oh, 
Oh, I have to use probably that. It's a tough choice. But it had to be done. Sarah means too much to me. It hurts to see Faith go. Sarah knew Faith for the longest time. I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone to die. Life hurts a lot more than death. At least Sarah's okay. We need to find her quick. Okay, now it's playing a song here. Um, made it this far too bad. But know that you have now become part of something much larger. All will be revealed in due time, but not this instant. Any last words, as you humans are so fond of leaving words behind? Uh, I feel empty. What? Please don't leave me. Please don't. It's not that I don't love our little chats. It's just I don't love them. Is that it? It just took me to, um, it just took me to that page. Wow. Okay. I guess that's it. Man, that was really scary. Um, so it said like, come to these coordinates and then it just like ended. Um, what was trippy though is that it had me um, it, like gave me some options I could use to, to answer. And when I did, all that came out was, please don't leave me or something. I didn't really get that part, but, um, man, that game was really good and it really scared me really good. Um, I'm playing in the complete dark right now. So, um, when, when that recruiting video came up, man, um, that was crazy. And then having to see it a second time because I accidentally clicked on it, that sucked. Um, I, I really love this game though. Um, it's called Sarah is Missing. Um, I'll have a link in the description of where you can get this. It looks like there's lots of different uh, options you can choose. Um, I don't know what happens if you try not to kill anybody. Um, I don't know what happens if you, if you don't share the link. Um, that's something that uh, I might do another playthrough on um, another time. I think that would be interesting to see. Uh, but for now, um, we'll just leave it there. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and please subscribe. All right. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to go change my pants.